You know, what makes uh, directing fun uh, is getting the opportunity to do a sequel, you know, because in the first time, you, the first chapter of a movie, you fall in love with the characters and working with the cast, and Alec Bald Baldwin's so fun. But then you also think, like, well, how can we make the movie better? What do we learn from the first, you know? And, and um, you know, the first movie is very boy-centric, and we thought, wow, this is a great opportunity to have a strong female voice. And so we started developing the baby Tina character that would bring the brothers back together for one last mission, turn them back into kids again so they, they'd have to reconcile their differences as adults, which was a fun idea to play with. But the character really kind of uh, blossomed when we brought Amy Sedaris in to, to voice uh, baby Tina because we wanted the opposite of Boss Baby. We wanted someone who kind of reflected the voice of the new generation, who embraced uh, family over business um, or work, um, have more of a positive idea, uh, you know, set of ideals and embrace teamwork. And so Amy kind of invented this character along the way that just kind of represented Gen Z, I guess it would be. But it was she was a fun foil against Boss Baby. Yeah, I love some of the themes that you just touched on. I think that the, uh, kids as well as adults can really relate to a lot of the themes that you see in Boss Baby Family Business. Can you uh, expand on that a little bit more? Yeah, the first, the first movie really focused on the two brothers. I think, uh, you know, when we, when we had the opportunity to do a sequel, you know, um, Tim is now an adult, and he has two daughters. And we really wanted to focus on the father-daughter story as well as the brother story because um, parents can relate to a story like that. And it, it's kind of, in a way, for parents, too, it's like back to the future in reverse where wouldn't it be interesting if you could be a, a child, revert into a child, and see how your kids do in school? Which, uh, to be on a fly in a wall for parents is kind of a fun idea, and it, and it really brought the heart to the film, The Father-Daughter Story, where Tim could help his daughter with a problem that he couldn't do as a father, but he could do it as her weird new friend in school. I love that you call him a weird new friend. <laughs> He's the weird new friend, yeah. <laughs> You see, Boss Baby, my daughter loves watching Boss Baby. She's a toddler. She loves Boss Baby, the original. She loves the TV show. So what can fans of the original Boss Baby, as well as the TV show, expect from the sequel? Um, I think there's, uh, because our timeline is different from the series, it's 25 years later, it just brings in a whole new set of characters, a whole new set of fun. Jeff Goldblum is fantastic as a villain. I don't want to talk about his character too much because I don't want to spoil anything. And James Morrison playing now Tim as an adult. Um, it's just, it's almost like a, having a different timeline for the movie just brings in a whole new, um, you know, set a new, a whole new opportunity to uh, bring in new characters, new worlds, new action sequences. And, you know, we made this movie for the big screen, obviously, and we wanted to be there for, for kids and parents to get out of the house and go laugh together. But, you know, it's also available on Peacock which is great for us because when we make these movies, we want it to be seen by the widest group of people we can possibly show it to. Now, one thing that I love that Amy and Alec just said is that this movie, this animation, is, it, it's, it, it, it harkens back to an older time of animation where everything got zany and everything was like fun and exciting and it was like this kaleidoscope of colors and actions. Can you, can you expand on that a little bit more, how this is that type of animation that we're all missing? Well, that was my generation, you know. Um, I remember going to the theater and watching uh, animated movies, and it felt like you were stepping into a world of art. And watching Bugs Bunny, it, it, a lot of the humor was in the physicality of it. And I think what makes Boss Baby um, unique, hopefully, is that, um, you know, we can be kind of zany and silly and kind of slapsticky and fun, but we can also have sophisticated acting that our, our actors bring to it that warm your heart. And... Um, you know, because there is a, a, a nice message in this movie, you know, for families saying, you know, you, there's always, you can always have a second chance with family, even if you grow up and grow apart, you know, and to take that opportunity to reconnect with a, a lost relative or that sort of thing, you know. Um, what's great is having, like, Alec Baldwin, who studied under Lee Strasberg for acting and also has great comedy chops, you know. He, he's the perfect example, as well as Amy Sedaris is having that sincerity as well as comedic uh, humor in the film as well, you know. 